it's Halloween tonight and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to keep your pets safe and also keep your pets more calm, you know, with Halloween. There's lots of children that are going to come to your door, doorbells may be ringing and all these things are kind of, you know, they're weird to our pets. Let's put it that way. It's fun for us. But to them, they may think we look all weird. So right now I'm getting ready in my little witch's outfit. I like to wear for Halloween and here's my dog Bella. So I have a dish of her food here. So let's say the trick or treaters are coming by about five o'clock tonight. So I would start this about four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna get in my outfit because guess who's gonna earn dinner for me seeing me walk around in this outfit I usually don't wear. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my witch's hat because I look kind of weird wearing a witch's hat. And when I go to answer the door, she may want to bark at me. So I'm going to take her food, hey Bill. And we're just going to make a game of tossing her food as I walk around wearing my outfit. So now let's say we're ready for trick or treaters. Now my dog will run to the door and start barking. That's my dog. No matter how much training she's had, that's my dog. So what I'm going to do, I live in an older home, so I still have doorways. So I am going to set up this baby gate here and just for sake of time I'm not going to secure it you get the idea we have a baby gate there so I hear ch children coming up the steps before I open the door I take a handful of her food if I had pockets this would be a little easier but I'm going to keep this little cup right by the door where the candy is and I'm going to throw the food so while Belle is eating I now go over to the door picking up my thing of candy and I'm going to say oh and I can hand out candy and be nice and have fun with my neighbors and friends. And if Bella starts barking, I take her food and I throw it again over the gate because that gets her to go away from the door and it positively conditions her to seeing kids coming back and forth from the door. So that's one way that you can keep things safe and secure for your pet and happy and less stressful for them for Halloween. Thanks.